together, Suarez and Sturridge almost did the impossible and won Liverpool the Premier League title. They didn't, but come on, they're only human. Off the pitch, they weren't best buddies, but on the pitch, they were practically married. With the ability to read each other's movements, they terrorised the Premier League and produced some truly mesmerising football. OK, before Sturridge and Suarez nearly won the league, these two came pretty close. The torres Gerard connection is the stuff dreams are made of. A dream that turned into a nightmare for Liverpool when Torres got sold and Gerrard got old, then they were left with Ngog. Boring Michael Owen wasn't always so unbearable. In fact, when he burst onto the scene as a teen, he was the most exciting player in Europe. And then there was Fowler, who was nicknamed God by Liverpool fans. Seriously, God. Now, if you cast your mind back to when Liverpool were last successful, keep going, keep going. When they won the UEFA Cup, FA Cup and League Cup in 2001, Owen and Fowler were the front and centre the best partnership in Liverpool history. Before he was spending £35 million on Andy Carroll, <coughs> King Kenny was regarded as one of the finest players to ever grace the Anfield turf, and Ian Rush is only Liverpool's highest goal scorer ever. Not exactly the most fashionable partnership, I mean just look at their haircuts, but before wowing audiences on Match of the Day, um, they were the foundations of Liverpool's success in the 80s. Will these days ever return? No. No they won't.